fuck is wrong with people? We got a bunch of emails this week asking for a video about the brony slash My Little Pony controversy taking place in the military right now. First off, why in the fuck do I have to know about this shit? Second, who in the monkey fuck cares about any of this shit? And third, who in the double retarded monkey fuck actually does this shit? Long story short, bronies are grown adults who are super into the 1980s cartoon series My Pretty Pony. Which was about a bunch of gay pink and purple sparkly unicorns and horses that could fly or suck their own dicks or something. The Wikipedia page in that wasn't really clear. These bronies all watch the show or dress up as it or beat off to it or whatever and it makes them feel good or loved or like they're alive or like a pony who just got a blowjob or something. I, again, I don't, I don't know. I'm just paraphrasing what I remember from the Wikipedia page at this point. Anyway, last month, three or four thousand of these people got together in New York for a thing they called BronyCon 2012. Which really sounds like a dong and butt tripping sandwich hold the bread, but who am I to judge? I'm just kidding. We should all totally judge these people. Reportedly, some active duty soldiers or National Guardsmen showed up for BronyCon in their ACUs, and at least one of them was photographed with some type of rainbow boner cum splat insignia patch on their uniform where their unit patch should have been. And people online, particularly on the Military Times forum, went completely ape shit over this. Which they were totally justified in doing. Okay, I'll make this short but sweet. We live in America, freedom, liberty, justice, all that shit. However, if you were in the military, you can't just go around wearing your combat uniform off duty at an unauthorized location at an unsanctioned by the military event doing whatever the fuck you feel like. There's rules against that shit. And you could end up getting yourself in a lot of trouble, which you'll undoubtedly whine and cry about because you're a total pussy who's into my pretty pony and nobody wants to hear that shit. And then there's the bigger issue. No matter how many times or how much you want to blow magical ponies in your free time, you can't go getting yourself photographed wearing some rainbow boner comes plant insignia on your combat uniform especially when the photo gets published online and it's the same uniform hundreds of thousands of your fellow soldiers wear while they defend this great nation of ours from terrorists rogue states and evil doing scumbags all over the world do you have sparkly unicorn shit for brains how are me and my badass team of door kickers supposed to strike fear into the hearts of our foes if right before a battle, I've got a bunch of farmers sitting in a cave in Afghanistan looking at photos of you covering your ACU in sparkly boner paint and rainbow unicorn patches? The only thing Al-Qaeda's gonna be afraid of then is that we might pin them all down and suck their dicks dry until they die from dehydration due to loss of body fluids. And that is totally not badass at all. So, in conclusion, feel free to sparkly boner paint your ass off when you're off duty, behind closed doors, not on camera, and definitely not in your uniform. And better yet, if you're looking for a badass role model who kicks ass, takes names, and might bite an enemy's dick off, but would certainly never blow one, check out Stanley the Honey Badger. Now that's a mascot that would scare the shit out of any AK or RPG toting bag of dick shavings out there, and one of his patches certainly won't make you look like a roving blowjob vendor when you're out in the field. Problem solved, problem staying solved. Rangers lead the way.